<laughs> but no, question of the night. So you better get Ooh. your green glasses on, sir. You better Ooh. get ready, dude. No, but people, good. I'm really curious, too, because I've been watching the clerks, but that goes into this question. So it says, do you think working in retail changes people's perspective on people and the world in general? In the past, would you consider yourself more forgiving and considerate to people before your first retail job? So just an explanation behind this question. I watched Clerks for the first time. I actually sat down, watched Clerks, loved the movie, actually. I see why people fuck suck the dick of Kevin James, because that was a really smart movie. <laughs> so I, I get it. I get it. But that like movie made me question just like retail and stuff like that. Because I always say I don't have that much life experience in the sense that I haven't worked a retail job. And y'all see how I act. Y'all see, like, I'm always loving and caring and forgiving of people. I'm like, I'm always sympathetic to their situation. I'm always like that. And this could be case by case. I'm not saying that. This is case by case. But I haven't worked a day in my life in retail. I've not yeah. worked at Burger King. I've never yeah. worked anywhere else. But would y'all say that would change our perspective on how y'all look at the world? Yes. Something like that? Well, Cedric, yeah. you go first, buddy. Yeah, see, I, I'm a cashier. I do work in retail. I like I literally just came from it before I got on the MCA. Um oh, God bless you, sir. Here's 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 the thing about retail. You I've what I've learned from retail is, is pretty much I've got so much more respect for waitresses, waiters, uh -huh. mm -hmm. cashiers, because when you work in retail, you put up with a lot of stupid people. Like, you know, it's it's I'll I'll put it like this. Anybody that defends that, and I'm going to sound like anti-American, but anybody that but don't believe that Americans are lazy and stupid and dumb, work in retail, and I guarantee you that will change real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. guarantee you. I, I swear. I, I, I've I, got story for, stories for days about it. Hey, dude, it. it's not just Americans, man. It is Me? not just Americans. <laughs> <laughs> but, God, I... Anthony, I mean, you, you said you never like worked. This... You, Anthony, you never. You said you never worked a day in retail, right? No, I never. Do, I've never Good. worked a day in retail. Stay, stay that way. Stay <laughs> away. Yeah, stay far away. Stuff. Far no, away. Yeah, no, no, it's it's like something. dick for crack money. Holy no, shit! No, you <laughs> say that. You say that, but I always feel like I need to test myself in that sense because no. I'm like, no, no, I'm more forgiving. No. Like, I'm, I'm no. more forgiving because I always like, because like, I always see like Ganja's and Nick's perspective on stuff, and they just like, no, why would you think that? That's kind of like you got to grow up a little bit more, and I think retail would give me that. So that's what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. will it give you a different perspective? Please want you to grow up, Anthony, not Let's kill your childhood spirit. Anthony, if you want some advice? If you're gonna get a retail job, get it in the summer. Do not get yeah. it in the winter. Yeah. Well, why do you say that, Alan? Can you explain? Fucking like Christmas that? jingles. Black Friday, dude. That too. Okay. Yeah. Just fucking Christmas in general. Uh <laughs> no, not just Christmas, but even at retail. Like right now, Easter coming up, there's gonna be a lot of people there. At least in the summer, there's like a lot less holidays to worry about. Let me um throw this to you, Ali. So as a person, I, I consider you like sweet and stuff like that, more considerate of people and stuff like that. Would you say you was a little bit more considerate of people before you worked your first retail job? Or Honestly, you? I really have to say it depends where you work. Um, mm -hmm. Some places you have better experiences or a lot less conflict than others. So let's say, for example, like I work at Seven for All Mankind and that's a premium denim store. I'm going to have a better experience than someone who works at, let's say, a Walmart um, or an H&M, just because more people shop at those places. They're like, there are more people that go through. And so there are more people that might be rude because you have, because they're first really uh, reasonably priced. Um, yeah. So that means you get every sort of person. Seven for All Mankind, our stuff's expensive, so mm -hmm. we really only, we have like a select, like, you know, demographic of people. Uh, and those people tend to be like more mature. Um, mm -hmm. Not saying though that everyone's like that. There are some rude people, I will say, and there are some very interesting people. <laughs> um, I will say like, for me personally, I've had mostly positive experiences working at, at my store. I think it's honestly the best retail experience a person could have is working at Seven for All Mankind, at least at my school store, because I love all of my coworkers. We all get along. We're like best friends. Yeah. Um, and most of the people we encounter, they're pretty nice. Although, because we are a high-end store, sometimes you do get those rich people that they think they're above everyone else. Um, like for instance, I will just give you an example. One time, this lady, she, she, this lady's known in our store. Like she comes in here and she spends like thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars in the store. And so she comes one time, and she like asks for like champagne. We don't have any out. We do sometimes have it, 
But she asked for champagne. So we're like, champagne? okay, we ha- we happen to have a bottle in the back. So yeah, let's go and grab it for her. No biggie. I mean, she she is kind of like one of our high end clientele. I don't see any problem with that. Then she decides she's going to take it upon herself to go into the back stock room and use our restroom. Okay. When we never even what? told her. Well, we never even told her, and she like she might have asked, but before we, we could even say anything, she just decided to waltz back there. And then afterwards, she has the audacity to say, "You think because someone spends over th- thousands of dollars in the store that I would have more privileges than other people?" So yeah, you got to deal with people like that sometimes if you work at a more high end place. So oh, yeah. you got to deal with that at, at a dollar store too, because yeah. people think that because everything's a dollar, everything's a dollar here. That means that you know. Mm-hmm. And they think that they're better you because you're working at a dollar store thinking that it's not just True. any other job. The job is a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they look, some people, it really depends. Like, if you work at some place like that, they look down upon you just because mm-hmm. you're working at a dollar store mm-hmm. and whatever. On the flip side, and I want to ask you first, Cedric, but do you, like you said, people look down on you because you work at a dollar store. Do you look down on the customers? Because, like, sometimes, like you said, you get the dumbest fucking Americans that make you think less of the human race. Do you find mm-hmm. yourself doing that sometimes? I mean, no. it, it honestly depends on the person because yeah. it depends on how you carry yourself. Uh, like, if you're a jerk, then yeah, I'm gonna look like, like yeah, you're gonna look down at me for working here, but you're shopping here. So, what does that think? What does that mean for you? Yeah. But then again, I do know there's a lot of people with certain situations because a stuff is cheaper there is a dollar. Of course, you're gonna shop there. Who who wouldn't? Yeah. And b some people really are struggling financially. So, of course, from that perspective, I'm gonna be like, okay, I can see why. At the same time, if you're going to, my thing is this, if you're going to act like a douchebag, I'm going to look at you like a douchebag. It's simple. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's simple. Just, simple. Yeah. Just, and um, Jenny, let me switch it over to you because you work in pharmacy. I don't know if you work with the retail part of it. I do. Explain your um experiences with that. Like, has your your personality taken a hit because you've worked at I, this pharmacy? I think in a way it has. I mean... I'll, let me give you backstory because I've been with Walgreens for now 11 years. I started when Damn. I was 16 Jesus. working at the front counter. I've worked in every department all the way to get myself back to the pharmacy, almost to senior tech. So I'm almost like the top tech mm-hmm. in our pharmacies, which I'm really pr- proud of. I'm really proud I've made it that far. But yeah, in a way, I mean, especially being in that cross section between retail and medical, like, that you get it's crazy, especially as I see in the pharmacy. Some people like with drugs and stuff is the it's the worst experience sometimes you get because a lot of people just expect it to be free or cheap because of their insurance. A lot of people don't understand the little quirks about insurance, and so half my day, I feel like, is me explaining to people why their medication is so much when I don't even know it because every plan is different. So I'm stuck, you know, kind of in a crosswalk. I'm like, I don't know. Call your insurance company because I'm not the one making the prices. They are. Um, I mean, I've had customers. I had a customer literally make me cry because she was screaming on the phone at me because I sent her son home telling him his allergy medication was X amount of dollars and was like, why didn't he walk two miles to your store? Why didn't you have him call me? I'm like, that's he's 15 years old. The kid doesn't understand a fucking thing about insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Why this the fuck woman you come literally... as a parent? Like, what the fuck's your problem? Jeez. Well, and like this lady was literally on the phone yelling at me, say it's your fault. Tell me mm-hmm. this is your fault. And I had nothing to do with it. I was just helping the kid at the counter. And it literally, I literally gave the phone to my pharmacist and like, give me two minutes. And I went and I cried in the back corner because that lady just made me feel like shit. I wouldn't last long in retail. I would start fucking with her. Like, yeah, feel that that guilt. That's you. Feel that guilt. That's all on you. (laughs) Yeah, man. If if anything, like what Cedric say, when you work in retail, you do respect everyone who works, like, in any place in retail or serving customer Mm -hmm. service. You feel you're you're so much more appreciative, and you want to be super extra nice to them because you know how it is. Like, you know... Like, yeah, they probably had some crappy or, or horrible customers yes. yell at them for no reason. It's not their mm-hmm. fault. So that's why, like, I never mm-hmm. complain when I'm at a restaurant or, mm-hmm. or you know, at, at a clothing store or at a pharmacy <laughs> or anything because I know how it is and it's not their fault. You can't blame them. You got to blame the actual, like, insurance, like you said, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it just no, sucks. I, no, I, like, I literally yeah. want to spend a day sitting at a pharmacy, and if somebody starts yelling at the technician, I won't be able to, like – do you know what these people do all day? They're not sitting there 
waiting for you to yell at them and like about make their prices. No, they're the ones filling your prescription, making sure you're not going to die because of mm-hmm. said prescription. Mm-hmm. The ones, you know, filling it, the ones checking it, the ones ordering your stuff. We do so much and people don't understand that. And it just makes us feel like mm-hmm. it's just a regular commodity. And I mean, I see this because I'm part of a couple Facebook groups that talk about pharmacy and I hear there's horror stories of like just horrid customers and things that we get every day about, you know, customers and stuff. And then plus we have to please, you know, the company itself when we're like, no, we're trying to actually do something medical wise, but you know, we still have to play the whole corporate retail game where you have to have really good customer scores and blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's annoying. It's a really annoying thing. I feel like that hardens you. Like everyone's been saying like, Hey man, like don't, don't do that. Don't go to retail. I say go to fucking retail. You sometimes you don't have the, the thicker skin to begin with. You need to grow that thicker skin. Like for me, I worked in retail for five years. When I first came in, I was like, oh my God, I got a job. I can't wait. It's great. I was all fucking happy and shit. And then, I mean, here's the thing. Like I was all over the place. I, I was an APC, which is an all-purpose clerk. So I cleaned the shitty bathrooms, which by the way, yeah. everyone always gives men shit. Like, hey, like your bathrooms are gross. Men are disgusting. Yeah. Nah. Women. No, women's are always worse. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. No. I, like, I agree 100% with you, Nick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the shit I've seen in a women's woman's bathroom is the most disgusting things I'll ever see care. my whole life. I've, have you literally <laughs> had someone take a shit in the middle of the floor? Because my brother yes. has yes. horror stories about that. Yes. Oh, so they had a girl oh. shit and she oh, had yeah. hemorrhoids. Or maybe she was on her period. Oh, I don't oh, know. Oh, oh, shit on the floor oh, and there was blood oh. leaking like a fucking yep. lava oh, cake. It was God. real. Yeah, it was yep. fucked up. And her underwear was on top of there, too. So, oh, oh, that's um, fucked up. Okay, all right, I, I didn't go that far. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm, I'm not joking, by the way. I had to literally take I, I out the you're... deli hose. <laughs> I had to take out the I mean, deli hose. like you'd be scarred for life mm. over here. <laughs> no, but, like, I had to grab the deli hose. They used to clean the fucking meat. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned it afterwards. But I had to get the deli hose and spray that shit into the drain. But imagine, like, that shit was splashing. I had shit off the walls. It was like when uh, what's that dude? <laughs> when Johnny Depp died on Freddy Krueger, the first fucking Freddy movie. It was like, instead of blood, it was fucking shit. Like, it was like yeah. someone saw Johnny Wait, Depp Wait, you use a high power hose to clean that? Fuck yeah, you do. What? Yeah. But... You don't turn off. You don't keep the hose, goddammit. Like you, you, yeah. you switch it. Huh? Yeah, because the main thing is like, yeah, people talk about attitudes and people like you know whatever. And like even Jenny's like, I had to take a break and cry when you work at a place that's so busy. Like I worked at Safeway, which is basically like a shitty ghetto Walmart. You know, like yeah. I don't know if you guys heard. Um, they're like part of like the Albertsons, Kroger, Fries. I don't know if you guys have oh, any okay. of those. Kroger, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's like one of those stores. And the thing is, is like mm-hmm. in that place, man, like you'd have like shitty managers that are crazy. Like I had a manager that used to follow me around and literally would cry. Dude, one time I told her off. I went to go, like I don't know if I went to go take a share of piss, but I opened up the door and she was right, right out there waiting for me, listening to me in the bathroom just to yell oh my at me. God. She would harass That's me. That's the worst kind of manager. Yeah. I mean, dude, and then on top of that, like, I've, dude, one guy came in, he was all drugged up from going to the pharmacy. I'm sure Jenny has dealt with this many times. The fucking dude fell down, had blood leaking from his skull that I had to clean up. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, Wait, had a what? what? Like, I like haven't blood. had that. Yeah, oh, damn, literally, like, yeah, falling in a produce, produce aisle, whatever, you know, cracking yeah. his fucking skull. Like, dude, shit like that, like, you don't have to go to war or anything. Just stay in a retail place. You'll get... You'll deal with fucking injuries. You'll deal yeah. with fucking people. You'll deal with money, bad managers, uh, managing other people. I mean, dude, like, yeah. I'm telling you, these are all bad stories. These are bad all fucking co-workers stories. Too. I mean, yeah, coworkers I'll... too, relationships in the fucking workplace. You'll deal with everything. And it's like, if you last three years at a retail place, when you leave, the amount of skills that you're able to cope with, everything mm-hmm. that you're able to deal with in life, you're, you're good everywhere. It's like if you were playing an RPG game and there's like a fucking room where you fight 18 different enemies. Like, your fire skills up, your defense is up. <laughs> you know, it's like... Yeah. It's, Point is you're getting experience for your overall stats. Yeah, it's basically using like a game share code for your Pokemon. It's almost like that. Like, it's just when you go to... When you work at a retail place, a big retail place where you're just a spec, you're just a statistic, and there's like so many other workers, they can just fire you just like that. To stay in that lion's den and, and continue doing good in there, dude. Like you, everyone should go to retail. I really, honestly think mm-hmm. that if people, if you guys are watching this and you don't have a job, you really need to go get a fucking job. Like and I would and, and, say, just to add on what Nick is saying. Like if you're someone who's really shy, like I am super shy. I know I'm not like shy anymore, like here because like I know all of you guys, <laughs> but like I'm I'm shy, and I retail is the best thing that could have happened because I really did learn more communication skills 
for mm-hmm. retail. Like I'm still working there, but uh, like I feel that I can kind of open up a little bit more to r- random people if they start talking to me and they're really nice. So I feel like that builds relationships that you could have in the future. Like there's so much yeah. happening. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, it's kind of the opposite for me. It kind of makes yeah. me hate people even more. Like now I definitely yeah. don't want to talk to you guys after seeing. Well, see, when someone's nice are. to you, Cedric, you yeah. respect them more. Like there, yeah. there's there's something, True, yeah. everything that's more like uh, what do you call that? Like just. I don't know, like juicier. Like when someone's a shitty mm-hmm. asshole, they're like a worser asshole. Cause it's no, like, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like um, that metaphor that they had in Fight Club where he was like talking to the dude. He just like had a gun pointed to his face and he was just like, you're going to do that, right? You're going to go back to school, right? You're going to go back to school. And when he ran off, he was just like, you don't like, why did you do that? He was just like, his breakfast is going to taste better. He's going to smell the flowers. He's going to have the best day of his life because he was just that close, just that close. So I guess that's <laughs> what you're saying about like retail. It's just like, well, yeah. when you, taste, when you smell guy. the shit, when you smell the shittiest shit, when you okay. get the flowers, you appreciate it, so yeah. I, I, I don't know why I think you too. over that balcony. Anthony. Can we pour yes. one out for everybody that works at customer complaints, man? <laughs> no, because yeah. you yeah. yeah. Their job I is to hear shitty that. customers all day long, yeah. man. No, I won't even do that because I feel is another issue I have. And yes, I'm gonna probably make Ali mad and Jenny mad. And I'm sorry, but I'm just telling what I, you know, this is how I feel. But I think people play the sympathy card too much for that shit. Because how many oh. people work in retail places? Like they do. Like, but their I mean, job half is to specifically America. deal with people yelling at them. That's what I'm saying. Like customer yeah. complaint, like the, the department there, their job is to hear people yelling at them all day. Uh, yeah, and, oh and that's God. something you signed up for. So, and plus too, it's just kind of like, yeah, they yell at you. They're secure. Yeah, yeah, people people expect that, but still, like yeah. you want a little bit of respect. Still, you know, oh, people sure. deserve well, still anything. respect. Well, so it's, it's kind of like it's it's... When someone's yelling at you, and it's not even your fault. You know. Yeah. You can't yeah. blame them because it's just the whole disconnect. It's kind of like when we say the internet, we don't say collective people on this thing. We say internet. So it's just like when you call AT&T, you're not calling an individual with a life, with bills, with children. You're calling AT&T. So it's just like this yeah. disconnect of like yeah. you don't talk to a person. But Alan, I want to switch it over to you. What is your whole perspective on this? Would you say? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Like I, you know, I have, you know, horror stories, not to the level Nick does. But I kind of love working retail. It gives me kind of an interesting perspective, like as a writer, because my job is to literally say the exact same thing to every person that walks into my store. And I hear yeah. unique reactions from every person that walks in. Sometimes they won't even acknowledge my existence. Sometimes they'll look at me weird, like, why am I talking to them? Sometimes they'll strike up a conversation. Sometimes they won't. Mm-hmm. So it's it's because you get to meet so many new and different and interesting people. Sometimes they're assholes, but sometimes they're nice people. And I think Nick has a point. You should work retail. It really kind of lets you enjoy or lets you enjoy and lets you kind of just see the world from uh, like from behind a counter or behind where you're working. And you get to kind of know and get to learn how, how people are and how some people can be pieces of crap, but other people can be really, really nice. Yeah. And, and that's the thing, too. Like, I've had many good stories about that shit, too. And, like, here's the yeah. thing, too, that I meant to bring up as well is, like, when you get into retail, the best part about it as well is that there's no room for fucking up. Like, I mean, you can fuck up, duh, well, obviously, because th- situations you happen. You do it, like, five times in a row. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, well, my line, you really can't fuck up, because yeah. it, it's literally life and death. But, like, that's yeah. the thing, like, mm-hmm. you're given a new situation every two minutes. Like, yeah. I, I can literally be sitting down, like, you're, you're right there, Anthony, pretend like you're a customer. I'm, like, just chilling with you, you know, I'm bagging your shit. And then, literally, you could just, like, decide to hit me. <laughs> or you drop your gallon of milk, I gotta clean it up. Or you shit your pants, and I gotta like make sure you don't shit all over the store. Like something can change in five seconds. Like I know Ellie's telling many stories too. I mean, it's just all these stories are fucked up. No. But at the same time, I just think like if I think if everyone went to to work at retail right before, like right after they get out of school, this world would be such a better place. Like I know it would. <laughs> you know, I'm just, like right now, I'm a little more afraid for my life because with the epidemic of heroin. There's been a lot of robberies with oxycodone and oxycotton, which we carry. Mm-hmm. Woo! She probably and... selling it in the back. Because <laughs> we literally had a Walgreens store that robbed less than like 10 miles away from my store. And that kind of scared the shit out of me because I live in a very small town and usually we don't have robberies or anything. I haven't had any weird shit happen in my store. Jenny, just open people. the safe. You'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, well, this like, is, yeah, it's it's time. you can just say like hey here you go like fuck yeah. this company <laughs> they made it it well no because literally no there was an independent shop in milwaukee that got robbed like mm-hmm. they literally like tied up the people and robbed them completely of all their narcotics and after that they literally said we're not 
we're not selling narcotics anymore. Fuck that. No, I was just going to say, just hearing stories like, like you said, um, Ali, just like you be a little bit more sympathetic with what you said, Nick, you be a little bit more sympathetic to other workers. Because I'm more sympathetic to like people just from hearing stories of my mom when she used to work at Taco Bell. Like she literally had somebody throw like a pop of Pepsi and a Nacho Bell Grande in her face when she was pregnant with my brother. <laughs> okay, you were the same. Like, oh, my God. God. No. oh, damn. Like, she, they, like, they, they, like for some reason, she thought her, she got her order wrong and shit like that. My mom was saying she was um trying to give her food through the window. She actually had to literally fight the girl through the fucking window oh in the drive. God, God so she your mom is so story. She would just like tell me stories about that. She's just working at Taco Bell, and it's just like it made, like you said, it made her harder as a person to the point where now if she like just like anything happens on the job, she just like like you said, reaction time. Anything can happen in five seconds. What do I do about it? How do I fix it? She's Dude. got that tip fucking fold. So okay, I told you tell us one thing: working at a fast food restaurant is probably one of the worst jobs yeah. you'll ever fucking do in your life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she did too. At what? Like, I fucking respect the fuck out of my mom. She worked at like um, I want to say she worked at uh, as an accountant, and then at nighttime she worked at Burger King. My mom is like fucking yeah, amazing. She's like ben Affleck. It's like man, she. <laughs> she man, what? She's doing Wait, shit. sorry, I just I heard what? accountant. I... Have you have any of you worked at a call center? A call center? Ooh. I haven't. That a buddy of mine. Yeah. Has to be bad. Oh my gosh! And I was the people that everyone hates. Because um, I would call order? numbers and be like, "Hi, would you like to donate to blah blah blah?" And uh, oh, uh -oh. it was the worst. Uh -oh. The worst things that I ever I ever had was uh, I called this old lady, and then she was like, "Okay, I'll give you twenty dollars. Just don't call me again." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like I was like, ma'am, no, no, nah, that's that's all right. I'll take you off the list. Oh, like, I, uh, like, I lasted two weeks in that job because by the end of it, because what you would do is you would go in, you know, clock in, blah, blah, go to like a desk in a cubicle. Then every once in a while, you, you'd get a break and then they'd also give you like food. So by the end of it, I was like, no, Jerry, I don't want a Snickers. I'm not cattle. <laughs> like, I was sick of it. Like where I just like I went up to him and was like, yeah, I'm quitting. <laughs> Based on like, oh, slavery, dude. Do you start off that sentence with you're not anything? yourself when you're hungry? Yeah, for real. The funniest thing now is like we're talking about jobs and shit. Actually, Anthony's a, as a babysitter currently, as you can tell in the background. Uh, oh, so you <laughs> noticed that shit. Wow, you what? noticed that shit. I thought yeah. that was a short palm tree. <laughs> 